actually Cinco it right is now. the Cinco. It's the real Cinco. Where's your Cinco tequila? Of, uh, that was yesterday. We did that yesterday. <laughs> we were good yesterday. We actually had a really fun guest on yesterday, Gat, yeah. from Kansas City. I don't know what else to call her. Yeah. No, that's, um, that's the best thing. Right? To call her. And we did a- she kind of gave us some insight into dating into in the quarantine. Yeah. And just a the flashback. New, a flashback. To the single dating world that... We really kind of don't miss after hearing the stories. That's what I was going to ask you. So when she was talking about being on Tinder and like hooking up, um, part of me like is jealous, right? Like there's sure. one tiny bit of you that's like, oh my gosh, like that was how weird and ish. fun to like be able to swipe and have a new fun thing. But there's, I don't know. Do you miss it? No, it gets old to Not, me. That sounds like right now a nightmare. Well, oh, even particularly right now. But I think when you think realistically right instead of optimistically it's one of those things where oh reality versus yeah. fucking so like optimistically you'd be like oh my god it'd be so much fun it'd be fun. like great and then you really think when you flash back to back in the day when you did do that you're like yeah initially was fun and then it got really frustrating and really depressing and like oh my god i feel like i'm not gonna find anyone so that's why for me even sometimes like when you balance it all out or like you weigh the pros and cons of like being in a relationship even though it has problems and doing right. that I'd rather be in a relationship and have problems with one person for sure than trying to like manage it with multiple others but that uh, but some people love it and they thrive and on that it and, show, they, and that's their thing definitely that so, show definitely showed how different people are because I think for her that she may be a it. nightmare too. To be like, oh my Correct. god, to be with one fucking person that's gonna tell me what to do, that's to feel gonna... like way down, kind and of. Look, and look, I'm with her sometimes, right? That's like, what I'm saying. We were fight. I was fighting with my husband. We were talking about. She was talking about dating, swiping right. I was like, hmm, fun. <laughs> Sounds fun, right? <laughs> but then when you really, that's like, yeah, that part's really kind of fun. <laughs> when you get yeah. to like play the hot or not judge game and just be like, oh, he's kind of cute. Whatever. So there was this app that didn't really go, but there was this app called Ship. And it was basically yeah. like your friends, the fun things that we like about swiping through, like looking on other people's Tinder. So it was basically your friends pick th- your matches for you. Oh, so okay. it's called ship. And then oh. I was doing it with my stepsister. And I guess I did. I didn't pick like I pick. Well, it's an were. interesting concept because you're like, this is who you should be with. Sure. Do you know and what I mean? Don't. Like he seems like a nice guy. He's got a good job. And they're like, no, fuck no. Do you know what I mean? That's that's the hardest part, I think, about any of those dating apps and dating sites and everything is because you are initially judging someone based solely upon their looks for the most part. Or unless, and they can say anything they want. Well, and that's the thing, too, is even nowadays, I feel like there's a lot more good banter and, like, you can have that good conversation online and you think to yourself, like, oh, my God, this is great. Like, they always have the right thing to say. Mm. It's because they have so much time to think about it and retype it out. Then once you're in person, which is what I kind of noticed with the whole dating app thing, right? Yeah. Once you're in person, they're not as quick with it anymore or as funny uh-huh. or they say stupid things and they're constantly putting their foot in your mouth and you're like, this is not the same that we have together. Or you're, start- <laughs> exactly. like, or you're starting this? to find out, like... It's like an Airbnb where they take the pictures really nice. Yes. And you get in there and you're like, dude, this is it's, fucking no way. It's when you look. Yeah. You know those houses where they when they take pictures with the fisheye lens and the backyard looks a fucking drone. massive. Yeah. Right. You're like, this is like a football field. And you walk out and it's like five feet long. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck is this? It's the same thing. That's dating, dating apps, inside. right? Yeah. Where it's like, gosh, this looks like a cute little farm, <laughs> farm to table, little modern. Yeah. Um, and then you see it's like wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. you For actually you actually stayed in a nice farm. It looks like oh a nice my little gosh. farm I, chic. That was the cutest and most clean Airbnb oh, Airbnb jealous. I've ever stayed in. To the point to where like I'll be honest, when you stay in someone's Airbnb and you especially when it feels like it's lived in Right, like it's not like a like they just left hotel. for the night. Yeah, yeah, I feel I don't like awkward. That. Yeah, this one didn't feel like anyone lived in it. It was it felt very like they were professional. Rental. Yeah, and I even sat on the couch, which I never do because I have a thing against it. Even in hotels, I'm like, oh, cause you won't sit on the couch. Well, those are those are not not clean. How do you cleaned. clean it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Same thing with those decorative pillows. They're not clean. The minute I get into a hotel room or whatever, I just chuck that shit off because I'm like. Ugh! Like, I don't know what's on it. Yep. Right? Yeah. Which is so weird that I'm germaphobic in that way, but we'll sleep out in the woods and, like, eat bugs and whatever else. Sure, but it's, like, the devil that you know, right? Yeah. Like, you know what's going on there. <laughs> Correct. On a fucking yeah, decorative pillow. Yeah, and I'm not pillow. paying for that either. I'm getting paid to do that. Yeah, So, exactly. if I'm paying for a nice hotel, I want it to be nice. Same thing with Airbnb. So, in this case, I was sleep- sitting on the couch. I even took off one of the Afghans and put it on me. 
Mm-hmm. Like, wow. I was, I was you like, were really feeling that's it. That's how clean this place was. Oh, my God. I love it. And honestly, it gave me, like, the cute farmhouse beachy vibes. It makes me want to kind of redecorate the house. But I'm like, nope. No. Don't, don't do it. Because I go down this quarantine rabbit hole. You're like, I want a barn door. I, I think we need dude, a barn door. It was this really cute beachy barn door. You and you, mean. I don't know if you've seen the colors on my house, but it's so dark brown that the so the walls are white well the walls are like this gray color all the trims white and so i kind of built off of that to make it brighter because we have such dark floors that i added like white and teal and yeah that's what this place had it was like beachy wood white and teal and gray and i was yeah. like that's my house that's this is, your house this is what we need yeah no. but it's also it's vacation time so it's like a whole vibe Correct. you caught a vibe last night yeah like all of a sudden i'm gonna go home and be like chris you're making me a slutty barn door bitch yeah <laughs> you have like beach this way with yeah. the arrow they're like dude you're not and that's you're the not by is, the beach no. like, <laughs> and there is beach decor like beach decor is perfect for the beach for the beach that you was have beach decor and you're not at the beach like the white so let's talk about beach decor really quick sure. like traditional beach decor like when you go to a house guaranteed white wicker <laughs> Have to, <laughs> like you have to, you have to have a sign that says "Beach this way." Yes, you have There's to like have beach bitch love or like mm-hmm. I don't know beach yeah. sand something sun. You have to right? have some like turquoise and white shells that are all kind of like, mm-hmm. or you at least have a paint like some type of picture you made of yourself or of something yes. with the shells yes. as well. Yes. Yeah, there's you're gonna have to have a starfish something like on the corner of a absolutely like picture frame. There's always a beachy picture or sunset picture mm-hmm. guaranteed. Guaranteed. And other type of animals or bird, like pelican, maybe a crab. Pelican, huge. You have to have a pelican. Um, rope, you know. Oh, some kind of rope. Like nautical yep, rope yep, from boats. Some like, kind of that's rope. That's somewhere. Uh, in it. <laughs> you have to have a basket, some kind of basket with like the blankets coming out of it. They uh, have that. <laughs> of course they did. You have to have very, like, yeah, this is very normal. Yeah, yeah. You have to have like a, and I have this at my beach house, but you have to have like a, um a coffee table that's like a little bit like shabby sheet yep. right a little like messed up in the corner you always have outside purpose. the deck furniture that's mm. just particularly deck furniture usually turquoise right it's got to be a bright turquoise <laughs> has to why is, <laughs> why is that because it's always because it's reminding you of the, the beach yep it, but every house is the same i know like even when we went to lake of the ozarks which is a lake by the way not even yeah. a beach my dad had a buddy we'd always say his place and it was that that's everything looked and by the way it had like the old like the old wicker furniture outside or the beach furniture had yeah. like the old um, yes. padding mm-hmm. that either had water, Ugh. mold, <laughs> like sand or something on it. But you just. I love it. Yeah. You have to also have like a vase with some clear glass rocks in them. <laughs> right? <laughs> have to. It's mandatory. <laughs> so, like you walk I in know. and you're like, this makes sense. Are we just like, <laughs> we're just we're shitting not shaming on everyone. Everybody. No, we're not everybody's shaming style. Just, everybody's style. No, but it's like. It's a lot, and especially, like, living out here. Like, in California, you just, like, you had a surfboard in the corner. Because you really did live at the beach. Whereas here, it's, like, people are, like... It's very beachy. Beach. Well, Um, I think that's more so the East Coast, right? Is it East Coast? Yeah, because, like, so my in-laws, they live up in... um, New York, right? Mm. And so they have a very like woodsy rugged house and it's super awesome, right? And it's really dark and everything else. And they also bought another house down in Florida that's like their vacation beach house. And literally everything we named off, they have there. <laughs> they do. <laughs> like Of course. Because it, they have like of it's so easy. And by to. the way, they they were smart, really smart about it. And they went through garage sales and stuff to get stuff oh, down yeah, there. Yeah. So they just got everything that people were selling. So of For course sure. it made sense. They're not gonna spend a ton of money in it. And, and it's, it's perfect. Cute, and it it's works a out vibe. Well. It I is. love the vibe. I don't know if I want it like if you were gonna, you know, redecorate your house yeah. at home. Oh no, I think no, no. it would be a lot, right? But like, I'm not for, gonna have a Midwest house for a beach house. It like, works perfect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what else you have to have? That like fake kind of grassy stuff, like that turf. Oh yes, somewhere, somewhere <laughs> you backyard. have to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you need porch. a yard too. You're not gonna be able to grow. Yeah, the, like uh, deck, whatever. Oh, everything, and you have to have rusty metal everywhere because for <laughs> one, if you have a metal outside for one second at the beach, it will instantly rust up. That's yeah. really fun too. Yeah. Oh, sand dollars. Last thing. Oh, have to. <laughs> Maybe a coaster, yes. a sand dollar coaster. We are. Okay. We're pissing we're people off. No, this is, it's fine. Like, no, because you walk in and you're like, I like this. I love it. And it's a good vibe for that. For that. Yeah. But don't get too crazy and go home and decorate your house <laughs> like that. Um, or if you want to, you can. The other thing is, you look so cute today. Thank and, you. And I had to pretty. make up for yesterday. And so, my next question 
which maybe some people have is um so what and i love it yeah what possessed me yeah I like what and it came boredom. from the night before because you were like i have a surprise for you and so i was like oh my gosh like did you cut off all your hair no anything? so like on tiktok i've been seeing a lot of girls dress up as post malone okay right so a lot of girls dressed up i did as not see that joe trend. exotic Love right that. and they just and it's and it's just like randomly girls will dress up sometimes yeah, yeah. Malone, but they love him right and so i think it's funny like rita ora i guess dressed up as him for halloween and she oh. did like an amazing job like oh, put yeah. real hair on her face yeah, yeah yeah and everything and so i just been seeing a few girls do it here and there and i was like i love him so much might as well that'd be funny might as well my hair is in braids already kind of dirty yeah and i immediately like looked up him in braids and i was like i could do this you guys have to I watch just, the I last learned. episode and i honestly really felt like I looked like a dude there was some like don't get me wrong there's some videos I took that I was like trying to still act like act like a girl but I really act like a dude and did the like look yeah I was like, yeah I'm Whoa. pulling this off like Whoa. I really make a good looking Post Malone oh dude because <laughs> Post Malone by the way has baby a baby face, face. Mm-hmm. like he's actually pretty yeah you like, remember when you saying see that. like well, they have, there's this one movie that he's in on Netflix, and of course they're trying to sell the movie, so it's just his face. Yeah. You know that, like, prison movie or whatever? Yes. He's, like, on the phone. And if you, like, yes. look at it close up, like, he is... Beautiful complexion. Beautiful. Yeah. His eyes, everything, he's, like, a pretty person. Well, Dan and I looked up so his it works girlfriends, for girls. Actually, like, you know, if he had girlfriends yeah. and stuff, and, like, who they were, and there's this one picture of him, like, baby-faced, young, Post Malone. Yeah. But by the way, he has a more like rounder face now. Yeah, yeah. His face back in the day was like long and chiseled. <laughs> like a chiseled back in the day, pointy chin kind of. And it showed him with a blonde, blondish brown, br- like brunette chick. Yeah, right. Um, like they were both really young and like cuddling kind of in the picture. And apparently that's the girl who broke his heart when she wrote songs about. I don't know. Okay, but it was like a really young there picture. There we go. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh my god, this is so strange. It's so weird way, that he now switch to asians but <laughs> i don't know <laughs> maybe it was like fuck those white girls and he did have a and really, i get it dude like there's i guess one girl he did it for a few years or three years she had like really dark hair i don't know what now na- like where she was from what mix she was stunning like beautiful and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Good for you dude yeah but beyond that there was nothing else and i was like i kind of really respected that because it seems like he likes to keep his private life private he definitely does like and his relationship his relationship oh, sure. really imagine so there's nothing really on him yeah. i was like good for you yeah. but it was one of those things where i was like well jesse knows how much i like him i think she thinks this is funny it's something different i don't I have no shame in my game this would be <laughs> like i'm it was, was bored really, too like yeah. why not it was it was really bold because it was like i made a few tiktoks and funny videos good. with it too so you had to it actually too. worked out really well. So thank you for the screenshot. <laughs> I'll s- I'm going to post one of them today. Oh, you're going to do that? Funny. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, like one of them I did too where um, you just see me like staring at the camera looking kind of pissed off and a little bit like really. And it says when guys hit on you more <laughs> when you look like Post Malone than they do in real life. <laughs> dude totally <laughs> it's how just many funny. messages yeah right? yeah exactly so many people are like oh my god you look so great and i was like thank you <laughs> <laughs> like i look like a man so i don't know if it's a compliment but yeah yes and no but yeah i think the funniest thing was when after this i went to the liquor store yeah how many people like just didn't say anything so when i went to the first podunk town gas station sure middle of nowhere older ladies probably in their 50s or 60s they just looked at me like i was crazy right and by the way too they, these were like old this gas age. pumps from like the 60s oh, okay so like this was mil- middle of nowhere like sure so they, i think they were kind of like who's this fucking weird ass white girl and this day and age too you can't be like you know you never know if you're right they don't they didn't know something was, how you yeah. identify yeah you can't be making fun of people <laughs> yeah so i went to go pick up the tequila okay the like really kind of white trash lady who was ringing me out with like missing teeth and everything she was just giving me the weirdest look and the other lady was like so it's like dress dress up as like post malone day at work yeah and i was like well actually yeah uh, my girlfriend and i have a podcast and we both love them and that'd be funny and she's like oh that's so much fun i was like we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. and that was it yeah and she yeah, was yeah. Like, that's cool yeah so that was fun and then the um <laughs> there was an awesome older gentleman probably the age of my dad okay was like who are you are you dressed up as a rapper who you dressed up as and i was like oh like post malone he's like cool that's cool cool that's cool <laughs> so what type of alcohol are you looking for yeah like, exactly you know I mean? cool cool <laughs> yeah cool. Like, okay. moving on he's yeah like, good for you this is what he said he's like you're brave <laughs> i love you know, that like one of those like you're brave. It's a very southern thing he's like good on you he's like you're embracing yourself and i was like well it's not 
I mean, really just, myself just as me having fun and dressing I'm up. I'm just going to like do a fun. I think the funniest part was I was outside talking on the phone with Dan, just being like, hey, like, what are you doing later? Yeah, you yeah. want to hang out with Gat and I? And a cop was driving around the parking lot. He saw me on the phone. I went, like, did a little nudge, like the dude. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut up nudge. And, and he, he was, was like, oh, my God. Just kept driving. Kept driving. I thought he was going to give you, like, the bro nod kind of thing. No, no. he just oh, was, okay. he kind of looked at me and went, and then kept driving. Like, who is this weird person? <laughs> I don't know if it's no. a guy or a girl. So I think that was probably enjoyable, too. I like that. Yeah. Just seeing how it, seeing how it feels. Why not? To be like, Half the time you. I forgot I had it on. That's fun. You know what I mean? When I was out? Yeah, yeah, And so the cashier was like, so what's up with that face? So. And I was like, oh. Yeah, no, when you were like, hey, I needed Post to make Malone a pit stuff. stop, I was like, oh, boy. Yeah, I never have to stop anywhere on my way in. Yeah. And this time I had to stop for gas. And then I was like, oh, my God, of course I'm going to Yeah, so of, for, of course tequila. when you're dressed as Post, Post Malone, Malone, you need to, like, stop all the places everywhere. And yeah. everyone the other night, too, um, like, all my friends and everyone goes, I really hope he sees this. Because apparently he, he, he likes does. seeing stuff like that yeah, and yeah, apparently yeah. interacting and a bunch of people. I think even Gat was like, dude, I really hope he sees this. And I know. This. Has I he, like, so you tagged him in everything, right? I tagged him in some He's stuff. He's got to see it. And Gat was like, tag him on Twitter or tag him on TikTok because I guess he, he looks He's, at that stuff and comments. Yeah. And he's on he's on TikTok a lot. Is he? Yeah. And I don't know if somebody else does his videos for him, Could but be. he like he's on it. Yeah. A lot. So um, that was fun. So it was a fun. It was a fun day. Why not? Why not? But today, quarantine, because, yeah. Once I took the makeup off and everything, I was like, whew, thank God. I still look kind of feminine. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a little. I look like a dude? And then today, I was like, I'm putting eyeliner on or something. Today, actually, I wanted to wear eyelashes, but I forgot to bring any. Oh, so, damn it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was all about trying to look girly today. I was like. You were going to go from, like, one extreme to the other? I love it. You were like, dude, that yeah. was crazy. I got to get my femininity <laughs> back. I look too, do- like, I look get too you, much like a dude. Get you a girl who can do both, you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> look like a bro. And a chick. And a fucking hot chick. You know how we do. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, let's get it. So today we're going to kind of, again, when we when we throw it out there of what you guys want to talk about, it's just relationship stuff. Yeah. And by the way. Relationship or, or sex. That's what girls talk about. I'm sorry. Well, this, I guess it's fucking true, right? Half these were from dudes, too. Right? Yeah. But they're coming to, it's not like they're going to ask the guys about relationship stuff. They're coming to the people that talk about relationships just all the time mm-hmm. and you've come to the right place and we like we tell you how it is we tell we you how really we sugarcoat feel. things no hard back you know we exactly. don't hold back but also it's our opinion so if it you know take it with a grain of salt exactly it's just how we feel and if it makes you feel left like less alone we're not like or if it helps experts. cool if not exactly okay okay well yeah but we'll, it out. <laughs> we'll first get into some sponsors and i want to go first yes <gasps> okay so that was I've my favorite been, right this is amazing. It is. So I'm talking about Daily Harvest, you guys. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, we'll say this. When we first started, that was on your dream yep. sheet. And I was like, yes. And, and anybody they yeah. contacted us, we both were like, oh we've God, made yes. it. We've made it. So when I was on, like, Ross Patterson Revolution, when I was doing it from my, like, garage, yeah, I was, I or, I was ordering Daily Harvest, which I have this whole time. And it was the kind of thing where I was just like, hey, Daily Harvest, like, hope you see me. Although, no, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like nobody was watching. Yourself, like, no way. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm, you know, I, and I was like, they aren't sponsoring me, but I fucking love them. Their marketing's amazing. They got me. They have, um, I mean, their, their products Instagram, are their products are incredible, yeah. but like their Instagram commercials, I guess, or ads, like, it's just a girl that's like getting ready for work in her like white marble place. And she like, Pulls out the smoothie, pours some almond milk, blends it up, and is ready to go. But that's how easy it is. And though. I was just like, dude, that's what I need. I need that in my life. Well, here's the thing: is when I was really happy when I got this too, because honestly, I've been really slacking on fruits and vegetables. For sure. I don't know why in this quarantine, for some reason, I feel like it's so much. It could be so much easier to eat healthy, but it's not able to. And this is a very quick, efficient way where you have no excuse, like at all. You literally go into the freezer, put your liquid in there, blend it up. And you put it in the cup, back in the cup, good to go. Yeah. So and it you're has kidding. it's, it's self contained. The only thing you guys need to get is like an almond milk, a coconut milk, a real Some milk of it, they if even you tell want. You to do water or, or just coconut water. water. Like yeah. coconut water is really good, just adds a little bit of flavor. But basically, 
right now, like you're saying, we're trying to eat healthy, mm-hmm. right? So this is just daily. I just love Daily Harvest. I love the company. As you guys know, I've loved it forever. So I'm just excited that they've come on. Yeah. But basically what it is, is I guess it's like a meal delivery, but mm-hmm. it's smoothies. It's bowls. So it's mm-hmm. like veggie bowls. Everything's oh, like. They have oat bowls with fruit and stuff too. Yeah. If you like those. So everything is like flatbreads, dairy free, um, clean, organic, like just all the stuff that you need to do. Um, The bowls are really easy, too. So you just like you either microwave it in the bowl or you throw it in a saucepan, like a saute pan, which I like to do because I'm just like, whatever. I don't want to microwave everything. Mm -hmm. But my favorites on the bowl are broccoli and cheese and the cauliflower rice pesto. Um, and there's a lot of stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's like a lot of food. It kind of like fills you up. Well, and the thing for is, whatever too, it is, is, like, even so, these, I think, you know how we're on the go still? Yeah. We kind of are. Yeah. I know that sounds crazy, but people are Some still people working. people are. And yeah. Still on the go. And a lot of times when you feel lazy a little bit, you don't feel like making something or you need to grab a snack. This is like perfect for it's in between perfect. Two. And you feel good i don't know why i love the mink cacao one i love the mink cacao i love the like size of it i yep, like that it's, it's a like perfect shorter amount. and like i don't know what it is they're just like i just have loved their company forever so in that one particularly can you hold it up what so it's like banana so what else? okay so it tastes like literally tastes like a mint, mint chip ice tray, cream yes but it has banana spinach cacao cashew peppermint and chlo- chlorella which is it's kind of like an algae, whatever. It's just like, like a the super chlorophyll. green. It's yeah. like what you find in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fruit, so it's just a super green, almost like a wheatgrass situation. Um, so good. But and you, you don't taste tell. any of that. Yeah. Uh, the ginger greens are really good. Ginger green is like it's just a little bit of that ginger, the hint of ginger, but it feels very fresh, very light. I had a few of the berry ones. The ones I'm going to get next is uh, anything with mango in it. I'm sold. So good. So I'm going to get those. Vanilla bean cacao is just like a little snack. Anyways. Like a little, like if you want yeah. something sweet. You guys can um, tell we love them. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> We're really excited. Anyways, like <laughs> just do. try it. Like you get um, the code that they gave us and the discount is fucking amazing. So go to dailyharvest.com and put in promo code BROETS at checkout. B-R-O-E-T-T-E-S. And you're going to get $25 Dude. off your first box. That's awesome. It comes. Make sure you're around when it comes. It comes like frozen in this like big box. And it's all it has like the refrigerator The package packing. is so like we always we love a good website and we love good packaging. They're just like so aspirational you're mm-hmm. like i'm gonna do this well they even i'm gonna have these every you morning get your little bingo card thing so right? cute with Where the stickers i gave them to my son but he loves to it like help you out and and put down like the fruits and vegetables that you've not tried before but that you're trying and like yeah. put them down and just show how much good food you're actually getting in your body yeah it was cute yeah and all the packages that are everything that it comes in is recyclable it's just a fucking amazing company we're so excited we feel like we've made it that they're sponsoring us so go to dailyharvest.com and enter code enter code pro enter promo code bro at b-r-o-e-t-t-e-s at checkout get 25 dollars off that's fucking huge you will see at checkout and just try it out yeah see if you like it see if it makes your week just like a little bit healthier a little bit more you will have more energy from all this stuff and i just love it I make so them in the morning excited. with my coffee. Yeah. And it holds me over a little bit There's after. a coffee one, too. It's yeah. so fucking good. A coffee smoothie. <laughs> like, like I was going down. And my mom's like, let me know when you guys get that. Yeah. Code. Code. I'm no, I know. I, yeah, I've messaged all my friends in the neighborhood, too, of like, hey, we got hey, the code. We got a code now. Got so the code. You can save some money. <laughs> so you guys try it out. Let us know what you think. Next up, we have ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Um, do you guys have a bed? Do you like your bed? Are you comfortable in it? Just get a fucking new one. Yeah. Everyone, I mean, how how many Is years that, do you think? People are doing it right now. People are doing it right now. We have gotten so many messages of drinking bros that yeah. are like, dude, got it, Taganist. did it, yeah. fucking and, pulled and the trigger. Bed, what? Any bed they've seen a picture too. Is that a ghost bed? Is that a ghost bed? What you got? Yeah, what's that? What's what you bed? doing? Any story that we tell about sleeping? Or oh, what was that on a ghost bed? Cool. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, they're still doing 25% off at ghost bed um, off of everything, two free pillows. And 
as always, 36 month pay as you go program, which is no interest. So you could get comfy, cozy, get a new bed for literally as low as like $30 a month, depending on what you guys get. So just make make the leap. Yeah. And I guess here I was looking it up. Is I guess signs to determine if you need a new mattress. If it's over eight years old, which by the way, we never like switch out mattresses. Are you kidding? Eight years? Yeah. I've had I've had beds for way longer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like my parents have had them since they've been married. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel well rested when you wake up, get a new mattress. If you wake up with aches and pains, like and you're holding your back, like that's not just life. Like that's your bed too. Yeah. If you feel comfortable, it like squeaks. You should not have a squeaky bed. You no. know what I mean? No. So, like, replace that with a good old ghost bed. Hook yourself up. Do it right. Do it tight. Um, next up, we have strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code Lady Boner. I'm taking one on my way home. <laughs> Strike for Got to, right? Yes. Dude, I need to get through. Did the not rest feel like I the- had enough sleep. And I'm like, <laughs> second coffee. I can't keep doing coffee. Yeah, because you Strike like to, force. in your culture, you celebrate uh, Quattro de Mayo, huh? <laughs> We usually we're celebrate. being responsible adults. No, no I, I was know. like, listen, I'm driving back today. I know. We're we thought do- about it though. Yeah, I was just like, I can't. There was one second of conversation where we're like, all right, are we going to take shots in the morning? At like 10:30? Can't do it. Can't no. do it. Sorry, we love you guys, yeah. but we know that you guys are celebrating somewhere. But if you guys are day drinking today, you're gonna need some Strike Force yes. in whatever you're drinking, or do a like Strike Force before and after, in between. Um, good, clean energy. No sugars. No carbs. No gluten. And uh, it'll last you longer than five hour energy. So Absolutely. don't even fucking mess There's with no that crash. shit. There's no crash. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Strikeforceenergy.com, promo code LADYBONER. Uh, and by right. the way, too, you know what's crazy about Cinco de Mayo? As everyone keeps saying, Cinco de Mayo f- is falling on Taco Tuesday. During what a, a missed during opportunity. During a time where we are in a pandemic named after a Mexican So beer. sad, dude. <laughs> Everything's Why did I even not even right? think of that? Cinco de Mayo falls on Taco Tuesday it, during the coronavirus. Oh, shit. <laughs> Someone made crazy. a joke and said Trump's freaking out like, fucking wall. <laughs> yeah, put the wall up, dude. I just think it's funny. But that's ironic, right? Oh, my gosh. You're kidding I me. Know. The shit the internet comes up with when we're in boredom and like quarantine and we just realize things. <laughs> and yeah. we, have missed op- we have missed opportunities. Yeah. I mean, like, are you kidding me? I mean, the thing is, too, is like when a holiday or something like Cinco de Mayo or St. Patrick's Day falls in the middle of the week, it kind of sucks, right? Like you want it to yeah, fall yeah. on the weekend so you can fully celebrate it. But I guarantee there's people are still. I think and, I'm going to have, I mean, I'm going to have to. And when you're in too, quarantine, when it falls why not? on Tuesday, what do you do? Celebrate the weekend before or celebrate the weekend after? You know what I mean? How do you do that? Because even yeah, the same I thing know. with Halloween, everyone has it different. I know. Well, because most fun people to ha- do both. Because most people work during the week. Not now. Not now. So it's like, dude, it's perfect. It is. Okay. Um, so you want to start with the first one? Let's first do question. It. So we have questions from our listeners, uh, guys and girls alike. So we'll just go into them and we'll give you guys the, the best advice we can give. So the first we'll one ta- is. We'll just chop it up. We'll talk about it. This person wants to know how to bring back romance okay. in a relationship. Mm. Right. And so here's the thing, too. This one's hard. I guess I guess we can look up the definition of romance. Right. Number one, because I feel like it might be different compared to anyone. Like, you know, everyone might have a different definition of romance. But I will say oh, immediately I typed in romance and romance scam came up. <laughs> romance scam. Um, I feel like things like you have to put in yeah, the like, work. What do you mean? You know, like to make to keep the romance alive. So here's the thing. A lot of people feel there is romance, which, by the way, romance is a feeling of excitement and mystery associated with love, a quality or Mm -hmm. feeling of mystery, excitement and remoteness for everyday life. That's romance to court or woo someone. um, Look, a lot of people do that in the beginning. Right. Or it's natural in the beginning. You have this excitement of something new. This is great. We're going to know each other. This is fun. I think a lot of people hope to kind of keep that. Yeah. That spark, which we kind of talked about before, that spark a lot of times is that initial spark. Yeah. And that will eventually fade. Yeah. The only way to really get it back is to cheat on someone. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so fucked up. Yeah. Dude, but, like, it's here's just, the deal. You just have to, you, you let your relationship and the love for whoever you're with, if it's the person you're going to be with, mm-hmm. 
evolve yeah. into whatever it's going to be. And it will change. And that's fun, right? Have, yeah. But it's not ever going to be like the mystery and the it's spark. It's not going to be like at the it beginning again. It all goes away. Yeah. Um, it does. So here's the thing. When it comes to romance, though, and the what things, what people used to do at the very beginning of their relationship, that's still the effort. The, the effort. The cute, small little dating. things that you used to do for each other, courting someone, going on dates. You can't just stop that. You have to keep, yeah. and I'm not saying you have to do it all the time like you did before, right? But I'm saying that has to still be added into that. So figure out what type of love language that your significant other has, right? Some of it's physical touch, and maybe you were super physical at the beginning and not so much Do you so know what anymore. your love language is? Um, did you ever take that test or no? Yeah, like I read the book. Okay. Um, I read it before I got married, but mainly more after I got married. Okay. I was like, oh my God, I wish I would have known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or after I got divorced, I should say. Yeah, yeah. Um, Physical touch is a big one for me. Okay. But not like sex per se. Because I think like a lot of a people think physical touch, touch means yeah. sex. Yeah. Which physical touch is to me like the constant cuddling or yeah. the feeling or just him like grabbing my butt or kissing me. Mm-hmm. Like I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel loved in that manner. I think my other one is acts of service. Okay. As crazy as that sounds. Like that's and my that next one like, in line. Oh, dude. And any. Cl- a lot I of feel girls loved can relate to that. When Chris, without me having to ask, like, does, like, simple things. The dishes. Does the dishes. Guys. F- like, I don't even like flowers, but the times he has gotten me them randomly, you know what I mean? Does something sweet for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, even the s- normal day-to-day things, like, I feel loved when he's helping out and doing acts of service for me. Yeah. So I think, okay. you know what I mean? And the issue is, in relationships, we always tend to show the ones that we want in return and a lot of times that's not what our spouce or significant other exactly wants. Cause they so sh- and they, because they they show us what mm-hmm. we, what they want yeah and that's where sometimes you have that problem for so sure that's what i'm saying if you know what it is right what you did at the very beginning so if you were constantly all over them guy or girl but then you stop doing that thinking it's like cool i got in the bag or we're married now yeah, i don't yeah. have to be as physical or like dress up sexy or like that's a big go down one. on him as much. You know what I mean? Or like certain things that you used to always do. And he's not, he doesn't feel as loved. It's probably because those things stopped or vice versa. Yeah. Whereas like the guy, maybe used to always go out of his way to like open the door for you mm-hmm. and like take you to dinner and wine and dine or just like do super sweet things and like make picnics and, you know, do things that helped you out. But he stops doing that. You're not going to feel as loved anymore. And I right. think that's kind of how you would keep the romance in it. Right. I think so, and I think just making some kind of effort on both sides. So, like, for me, like, I liked, you know, I'll get, like, dressed up, do my makeup, whatever, even just for the day, Mm -hmm. like, at the house. If we're going out somewhere or if we're going to, like, even just hang out with the kids, I don't ever want to be, like, I'm not fucking, I don't care anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're good. Like, we're good, right? ever at this point you know I've been married you know seven years so it's a little bit different where it's like I don't know what it's gonna be in 10 15 years where I'm just gonna be like dude fuck you like if you don't like me by now (laughs) but I think that shows something like that right it shows a little effort of I still want you to find me attractive Mm -hmm. I still want to look pretty for you or in on his end like same thing like I still want to try to i don't know take you out like Correct. ask you if you want to go to dinner and not just be like oh we have this thing yeah like hey do you want to go to dinner on friday or whatever like even that mm-hmm. is something right yeah so when chris and i were dating and did a long distance thing right it was he was going i think he was going to deploy i don't, I don't know what it is but basically i made him a box right yeah and in this box had a bunch of different envelopes in it and it was like open this up when we fight open us up if you're having a bad day open us up if you need a reminder of how much i love you or like little things like that and it was, oh i think it was for his birthday or something how and cute. i had like his favorite candies in there right i had like sweet little notes i had like cute reminders of like the good times that we had like stuff like that right so that oh when he God. ever he missed me he loved that right well that's and cute so, and so there has been a few times where he was like you know, he's just voice me. Like, I feel like you don't do some cute things for yeah. me like you used to. And I'll be like, yeah. oh, my God, really? Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, what? And so that's why for even his birthday this year, right? Because imagine, too, even with birthdays, like, when you first are dating, I took him to 
a, he loves Blink-182, so I took him to a Blink-182 concert. And then the next day was Florida Georgia Line, which is his other favorite band, or at least was. And we had a, like a weekend down in South Carolina and did yeah. that. And so, you know, as you continue along, you're like, yeah, we'll just do cake and whatever. Yeah. Right? Exactly. <clears throat> so for this year's birthday, um, I like decorated the whole house and had a whole wall of balloons. And like he woke up to it and I had his cake and yeah. said happy birthday and had a huge banner and had his presents there and cards from his parents. And like he appreciated that. Yeah. And sometimes it's simple things like that that we think like, oh, whatever, it's fine. Yeah. That mean a lot to them and make them feel loved, which kind of brings... I guess romance back the excitement effort a equals effort and communication yeah well yeah you have equals to equals romance i think i think but so too. W- you mentioned the love language i think that book is amazing Me too it's a game changer yeah. i think that's a good tip maybe to give like find out what your love language is and there may be a huge communication breakdown in your relationship that is literally you can explain with that yes things that exactly like you're sh- you're trying to show him love in the way that you want to be shown and, and he's, he's not like, receiving it that's not what i want you to do mm-hmm. and uh and that's where issues huge. arise right because you huge. you think that you're trying yeah and you tried and he's saying i don't feel loved and you feel hurt because you've been loving on him but not the way that he right. wants but then he's not giving it back because Correct. he's giving it to you the because, way that he wants it yeah and you don't feel loved either and it feels like it's a take take and there's no give and there's there's issues so mm-hmm. it's one of those things where like it's either so even with audiobooks nowadays yeah here's the thing if i definitely recommend you and your significant other both read it if you guys want to read it on your own if not both of you guys listen to the audiobook when you're driving or even at night for an hour together before you go to bed or 30 minutes listen to it and just talk and have these conversations because this it's is huge where you guys get to know each other better for for people that don't know really quick it's like there's acts of service mm-hmm. there's receiving gifts quality time and physical touch were and words of affirmation Formation. uh words of affirmation i think are huge for me are they See, yeah that's that's down just my list. like that's what that's, that's not down on my down list because I would yeah. say my first three is physical touch, um, acts of service, and then quality time. Okay. Those are like, like good time together. Like I just don't want to just bullshit, hang out all the time. Like I want some, I want your own attention. Yeah. I want us to be talking. Yeah, yeah. I want eye contact. Yeah. You don't seem annoyed when I'm talking. Yes. That's quality to me. Yes. The rest, like, and that's what I mean. We're all different. Like Chris, all different. He needs a physical touch, but I think even more on top of that, he needs the words of affirmation yeah. constantly. And since and I don't a lot need of that, guys do. I don't give it. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, I what think else a lot for of you? Guys need. So you like you like the um words, the of, words affirmation. of affirmation because I have a crippling sense of insecurity. Oh my god! And then, <laughs> so you do not. It's healthy. <laughs> it's healthy, but crippling. We all have some type of inse- <laughs> we all have some type of insecurity. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and. I think it was acts of service but acts of service and receiving gifts kind of get lumped together in that like it's just somebody thinking about you mm-hmm. like even if it's just like i remembered to get it, it gets so different but it's like i remembered to get milk because i saw that we were out of it like mm-hmm. that is do you know what i mean just thinking about the family thinking about whatever so yep it's stuff like that 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 is my love language, but it goes, it goes a lot more into it and you like take the quiz, mm-hmm. right. And stuff like that. So I recommend, I do too. Definitely recommend and I, and it honestly, might open your eyes now. And I think it's a good thing to keep reading too. It's like, so when Chris yes. and I went through couples counseling as, uh, as well, um, one of the books that they told us to read was men are from Mars when we're from Venus. Yeah. And that's a good one. That's too. a good one too. And so it's classic. What I remember is reading that, right. We both read it on our own. Well, I was reading it. He was not. And so we would go in and then the counselor would be like, so what? You're not reading it? He's like, I've been busy. I'm like, me too. But right. So that's why sometimes you have to find (laughs) one of those things to do it together because that's the only way it works. Because you get to understand guys better and then guys get to understand girls better in the way they act and some things. And by the way, too, like the men are from Mars, women from Venus, really good read, very relatable. But does it mean... There's been multiple times where I read that that I was like, I'm the dude there. Yeah. And that's fine because if you're the guy there, then most likely he's the girl there. Yeah. And that's fine. It's just, yeah, it's yeah. just showing you different roles and how to deal with them and Venus why and some Mars, way, yeah. at, why someone acts this way and what it means and how not to take it personally. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. So I think both of those are. And I think that's something 
that you can keep continuing reading. Like personally, me again, I want to go home and be like, hey, we should probably read Love Languages again. <laughs> <laughs> While we have time in the quarantine, yeah. this is if anything, this is gonna help. Oh my god, that'd be it'd be a perfect time. This is pro tip right now. Mm-hmm. Read love language. Make sure your partner reads love language <laughs> and figure out what you are and communicate it lovingly to one another. Communicate it lovingly. Like, hey, bitch, I want some of you to fucking yeah, exactly. touch me, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> just real lovingly. Acts of service now. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. Um, okay. What else do we? How get to? We'll, we'll continue on the marriage part. I guess. Okay. This is the same thing. How to spruce up your marriage after so many years. And we kind of go around the same. I think it's around the same lines, right? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, I think for pretty much with marriage, like my answer is always kind of going to be the same is like communication plus effort mm-hmm. equals. Let's just spruce up. Like equals how, spruce equals How many times spark. have you seen in the drinking bros and drinking broette groups, right? Of like people just writing in about their relationship and talking about issues and how many people in those comments are going okay dude like yeah i know you might be complaining about not getting much sex or like she's complaining about how she's not getting loved as much anymore but so many people down below in the comments are going okay but what changed like are you guys still doing the same stuff you did before exactly like are you helping her out around the house or helping with the kids dude like you know what i mean all the stuff you are did you guys before. talking about this to yeah, each like, other or you're just writing on the forum yeah are you venting about it to a bunch of fucking strangers online or, or are, you are you talking, talking and communicating with your significant other while it's good to get advice don't get me wrong sure right and to vent about things sure at the same time you can't expect to like ignore it and then you also have to let him know and that's that's mm. a lot of the problem too sometimes i when i'm talking to people about it it's just like yeah but have you told, told him them? that no i mean he he just needs to like he We're just needs to readers. figure it out and no guys, one's a fucking mind reader we dude. aren't but guys definitely aren't i know <laughs> like they definitely need to, i mean you could run around in front of them like blah, blah blah and they'll be like on fire and they'll be like what's up you just like you just like want to dance or what you have to be like i'm on fire i need you do you know what i mean you like, need to they, clear as day communicate cut and dry no beating around the bush just how it is and so very clear communication still loving because they take sometimes they take I want so him. much offense to it is it right was that the breakup with jennifer aniston and vince vaughn he's like i want you to want to do the dishes yeah like, i'm never gonna want to do them okay you're gonna have to tell me like to do them but yeah. at the same time you're like i don't always want to tell you and it's like the ongoing mm-hmm. tale as old as time fight that you're always gonna have right. but you gotta tell him like if you're that's the other thing that's like uh a marriage romance killer is resentment Mm -hmm. and it grows from not talking about it and just having the fight with yourself and just like seething and looking at him and being like you better fucking figure out what i'm fucking things right because it builds because we don't talk about it and it builds and builds and builds and then finally out of nowhere one day we snap or someone snaps on something so small and then the other person's going wait 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 wait, i don't understand and all this stuff comes out the stuff that they couldn't fix because you didn't communicate right yeah. and then that's because even the other day on the way here was when i was like telling chris like hey i just want to talk to you about something because it's really bothering me right now and the last thing that i want to do need to get it is out. i want i don't want to hold it in and have it fester and then later on explode about it so sure. I, just, I need to communicate with you this these things right it was like okay and by the way if someone's communicating to you calmly about things and lovingly be open and receptive listen. yeah like let them get to the end like oh and listen be like, okay i understand because the most the most frustrating thing too sometimes is when people start going like make the excuses oh well i didn't or oh, okay well i guess it's not a very big deal or they minimize it mm-hmm. just listen okay yeah, yeah for sure cool. and i always do with my husband i'm sure i'm like look i know you're probably hit like it not nagging but i'm like i'm sure you don't want to talk about these little things all the time <laughs> yeah but by the way if i don't get them out i'm gonna blow up about a fucking shovel that's in the in the yard do you know mm-hmm. what i mean like if i don't do like nip these little things at the bud and you should be happy that i do do you know what i mean because like it's very easy and especially for women to like let things fester oh he doesn't and he doesn't and then he doesn't and then he doesn't and then all of a sudden we fucking like lose it and have like a huge fight about a dish in the sink and it's not even about that right have we talked about this before because i've noticed i don't know if we talked about this before on a podcast but this is what i've noticed right where even in, in almost all my relationships the guy goes hey like if there's a problem like tell me please tell me yeah like don't, don't just have, yeah. don't just 
like because yeah, there's been times where I'm like you know eventually they notice I'm acting sure. off like yeah, in the beginning of the relationship and I'll, I'm trying to be cautious mm-hmm. right so they're like no no oh my god just tell me any time sure. something's wrong so I just communicate it and I just say like and I'm trying to I always try to do it in a loving way like hey I definitely don't mind that you play video games but can you make sure that when I come over for the few hours that you're maybe not playing them right and play them when I leave yeah. right and so then it would come to the point where I'm just communicating these things right just like they asked me to sure and then also it's like oh I feel like you nag all the time I can't do anything right and you're always bitching and then it's like uh, okay well we're I don't know what to do now do I yeah. just shut down and not tell yeah. you or do I tell you yeah and the, like there has to be like you have if that's what you want guys but I say it I say like, I stop ha- taking everything so personal right but I have to say it every time it's just like hey like I'm doing this now so that I don't do something like so that we don't have a huge fight later. And, but so the like, thing is, too, don't take it personal. Not everything's an attack, right? I just need to get it out Which before so, I let it, right? Take it as like, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, okay, I hear you. Do it. Move on. I appreciate that and your honesty. Or like, or I'm sorry. Oh, my God, I would love if my husband was just like, hey, um, I just want to like let you know before it turns into a fight or whatever. Like, I just would like this. Da, da, da. Same. Oh, my God. Same. If it was calm and like done in a way that's like, I'm not really pissed about it, but I just want to let you know, like, let's just work on this. Oh my God. Talk about love language. I'd be language. like, really? Okay. Talk about love language. Yeah, First, great. let's have sex. Then we can, do you know what <laughs> yes. I mean? Like, what? That would be amazing instead of just yeah, like, I'll pounce, probably I have to right try away. And think about what he's mad about and what it really is. And it's not really that, but da da da. Yeah. Um, so these are, these are ways to bring romance back in a relationship and spruce up marriages is all these things. I know. And it sounds like we're giving just like marriage advice, but no, it really same. is. It's just communication. And here's a funny thing just too. talk about it. I feel like you could keep talking about this all day long because this is like the reoccurring constant issue though. Right. And but hey, think, people need to know. It's like yeah. one of those things too, that sometimes people just want to be like, that's too easy. It is too easy. So just do it. So just do it. Try it. You know what I mean? And if they don't want to hear There's it, no magic pill that fixes things. There's no, like, you can't wave a magic, you know, a wand over something and just bippity-boppity-boop. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Like, it's better now. You actually have to put effort in. And by the way, if you're trying to talk to your significant other and they don't want to talk, continually don't want to talk about whatever it is or they don't want to talk about it, like, that's a huge, huge problem. Mm-hmm. And um, I would definitely... You know, if you're in a fight, if whatever, there's wait till they're times, receptive to listen to something when they're but not if mad. They still are like, I don't want to talk about this. I don't know. Like, I'm just not into it. And they don't want to, like, actually talk about things like that's huge. That, for that, me. that might be for like me. a counselor situation. Yeah. Right. Then like, like, OK, you, well, apparently we need to talk to someone. We need then. to talk. And so try. If they don't want to try again. They don't want to try again. Then you're going to have to really reassess your uh, relationship because fuck, you have to be able to. Yeah. Especially like as women, like. We need to be able to. I know. Like, we're never just, like, fucking cool with it. No. Ever. But here's the thing, Find too. Find a woman that's just a lot like, of t- what else? No. <laughs> but a lot of times after we talk about it, guess what? Done. We feel good. Done. There's no need to keep discussing. We don't need to rehash. We, we're fine. Wait we, till you do that shit we again. We don't need you to just solve it no. most of the time. We just need you to listen. Mm-hmm. And just be like, okay. Oh, wait, I'm here for you. I love you. Or like, oh, I'm so sorry. Or that sucks. Or yeah, yeah. for sure. I'll work on that. For sure. And it's like, cool, we're done. Right? Seems so easy, it does doesn't seem it? So easy. Doesn't it? And again, so easy. this is where we get into the lesbians have it like Ugh. like lesbians completely have it perfectly have made. It figured I feel out. Like. And I feel like just, and same thing with gay guys. Like guys get each other, girls get each other. We just get it. The models all fucked up. <laughs> Man, so, what have we been doing all these I years? Don't know. Um, what else do we got? Well, uh, Mother's Day is coming around the corner. Oh, yeah. And so this gentleman would like to know, and I'm gonna probably have you more so answer this yeah. one. If there's any really good Mother's Day ideas that you can give him, and especially with those who have kids. So I don't know if he wants something that him and the kids can do for her. Mm-hmm. I can I can say what we did for my mom all the time on Mother's Day. Yeah, what? Um, my dad had us wake up, wake up early, and he had us all make my mom breakfast. Totally. And then we just brought it on a tray and woke her up with it, with like I cards that. that we drew. I love if, that. If we didn't grow up with much, we didn't bro- grow up with much, so that what we had, so we made her breakfast in bed. And we all sit in there and cuddle and tell much how much we loved her, love like it, like the things we loved about her, and gave her cards. And then the dad takes you the fuck out. Yeah, and then my dad <laughs> actually, for the most part, my dad that was like that was her day. My dad would cater yeah. her the whole day. Oh so, my gosh, mm-hmm. what a dream! Mm-hmm. Because there's two ways to think about it. Um, either your either your wife or mom wants to be with the kids that day. 
and have it be just like a nice day with the kids that mm-hmm. they want to have or your mom or she doesn't want to be with the kids at all two different things mm-hmm. um it's nice to do both right sure so exactly that i so think you're saying you'd probably figure that out beforehand like ask i would her. Fig- yeah i would figure out Feel the and waters. most of the time she wants a little bit of a break so like depending on if she if she's the person that uh you know plans everything she'll plan it believe me but i think the point is that they want like i would want him to just plan everything so mm-hmm. that means like a little breakfast a little something in the morning and then get the fuck out and i know it's hard right now right with quarantine yeah so i don't know if that's even going to be possible on sunday to be honest with you but maybe that's like play with them in another room or play with them C- out in the you yard still go to, like, or the park or you something can go to the park go for a walk go for a drive whatever like or yeah i mean it's really hard like what i would say normally and what i would say in quarantine are completely different right mm-hmm. but really the home like the homemade cards the breakfast like that's pretty much and then what if you just the to take care of the kids and just handle it all day and you can get a break that you would be amazing mean? Like, no, I know mommy's home, but mommy gets to rest today. Yeah. Type of thing. I would like, like to go I'm for taking a run care of personally. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Like a long run. And then they, that, that is basically, if you want to win Mother's Day is just like, just You get take back care. to the run. Like, hey, can I make you something to eat? Right. It's kind of the reverse. What do you want me to pick you up role? tonight? Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Hey, what would you like for dinner? Can I make you something? Can we order out? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, you are able to eat dinner there, and he's kind of, like, taking care of the kids during dinner instead of you, right? <laughs> That'd be a dream. By the yeah. way, that's not going to happen so again, for me. But, but these yeah. are, like, simple things to do in quarantine. Because right now, yeah. you don't have the luxury of being like, you know what? I paid for a spa day for you. I Go know. enjoy it. I know. Sadly. And again, though, too, you guys can get, like, gift certificates to places right now. And so it is. I'm sure it's cheaper. It's like a, yeah. Well, you know, get but. well it's not cheaper but most places are doing like a 25 to 50 dollar extra if whatever you i'm sure spend. some of their stuff is discounted too right now yeah right so that might be kind of nice if you can get out at some point and get a gift card from find out like a local place because then you can uh support local businesses but then also get her something for when mm-hmm. whatever um that might be kind of nice like i would love like a gift card for like some restaurant yeah. um for my nails like so that i could be like okay when this is over like i've got do you know what i mean yeah that might be kind of cool like i'm just saying what i would want yeah but i think well and also i think a really good thing is too is like moms do so much yeah on a daily basis and i feel like sometimes it's taken for granted like it's just expected like oh well your mom you're supposed to yeah um and i think i've seen this before too where it would say that if a dad's actually a good dad he's like celebrate for it like oh my god you're such a great dad um, but when he's a bad dad, it's kind of like, whatever. Whatever. Then but when a course. mom's a great mom, it's just normal. Yeah. That's right? Just like it's just kind of like, doing whatever. What like, to cool, do. that's your job. Yeah. But then when a mom is a tarot, like, not as great of a mom, like, she's crucified. Mm-hmm. And so I know, at least on Mother's Day for my mom, we would just always ride out. And even still to this day, right? For the most part, we let her know whether it's a call, whether it's a lengthy text so she can, like, keep it and have it screenshot it or whatever. Yeah a letter whatever it might be and tell her how much we appreciate her and all the stuff we she's done for us and like really acknowledge it yeah right that's huge Um, huge because it's and and i think you realize it more and more as you get older maybe your kids don't realize it and be like yeah like mommy makes you guys all this food for lunch all the time she's constantly taking care like even explain to the kids so they can Oh, no. Just let her know how much she's loved and appreciate it because that is i think major too right it is major something so simple Cause That's you all it is. Do a ton, you do a ton, and and it's overlooked need, sometimes. I feel yeah, and it's thankless. Yeah, and they're still yelling at you. They're still like, I want this. I didn't get this. Blah blah blah. So, so at least one day, one day, like well, at least two days. Her birthday, just and lots and Mother's of thank day. you, lots of appreciation, and that can be with your words. That can be a card. That can be whatever. And this but re- reverse roles for that day too, because I think that you'll see particularly how much they do. Yeah, you'll be like, and oh shit. You're gonna maybe be a little bit more appreciative of it as well, and help yeah. out more. Like I don't know. And then if you can afford a, you know, a diamond or something like that, you know, <laughs> up, up to you. Well, uh, earrings or another for, uh, forever necklace or whatever. Best I mean, up to, up to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, up to you. You, you yeah. do what you can, right? Yeah, you can. A card, a diamond. Couple I mean, diamonds. whatever. <laughs> but um, <laughs> that's awesome. That's what I got. Okay, so next one is. Um, 
your partner so this person wants to know is partners playing video games a big problem for you guys and i'll say this i'm yes. assu- i'm assuming ross does ross play video games no he said he played video games one summer in high school and he said he got fat and he never <laughs> did it again but he was like, I was inside all the time, I was playing video games, and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? But so Chris has video games, like okay. in like a storage okay. like box, okay, um, for someday when he wants to get back into yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> I guess he played him like before, maybe when it was just like he had a bachelor pad, and okay. they, I'm sure the guys played. But when we were together, he hasn't played. Okay, he did buy me a Super Nintendo. And because I loved Super Nintendo when I was younger, and he right. bought me Super Mario World. Nice. And I want it all in one day <laughs> like i stayed up till midnight that's awesome because like, i loved it but yeah for me that was like that was the end of it really him and i played donkey kong a few times like Love it was donkey very nostalgic kong. yeah um i think we played guitar hero like once together nice but beyond that it's just kind of like whatever yeah uh, we never had an issue with it and i will say that i see a lot of videos on the internet of girls trying to get their men's attention because they're playing video games nonstop. and i will say i do not envy that situation and I'm glad I don't have that. Yeah. I did date a guy who was like one of my first serious boyfriends, I guess, who was obsessed with video games. Yeah. And we were staying in dorm rooms. And it got to the point to where, I, you know, outside of work, I'd go over to his dorm room and like come over and hang out. And he'd be playing video games. Yeah. And you had, I had to like lay down the law with him. Yeah. Right? Even with my ex-husband, the same thing too. Like he'd have me come over. I'd only hang out for a few hours. And he'd be playing video games when I came there. And I'd give them the first, like, maybe 30 minutes. And then after that, I was like, this is enough. I came over to hang out with you, not look at the side of your face while you play video games. So I'm going to leave. Yeah. And a lot of times I would leave. And they'd be like, oh, my God, no, 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 no. Like, I'm trying to put it away. Yeah. Like, you can play video games when I'm not there. Yes. Now, the issue is when you live with them. Right? So there has to be, like, as stupid as this might sound, there kind of needs to be, like, rules, I guess, in a way. Like, even with my husband and dirt bikes, Mm -hmm. I have to be like, okay, like, you get one day of it. Yeah, where well, you're not going to be working all the time. And that's what I you're was going to say. You're not going to wrench on it for five hours every day when I'm never going to see you. Mm-hmm. There has to be a happy medium. Yeah. And there has to be a limit. So I dated someone that it was like guitar mm. and like jamming. Right? Mm-hmm. And then Chris, it's bikes. Mm-hmm. And then some people, it's video games. So I think it like can go across the board of like Everyone something things. that you are more interested in than me. Mm-hmm. And that's just like... There's, there may always be something like that, but it shouldn't be so much that you feel neglected. neglected. So, I mean, that can be across the board, but like, it's, yeah. And to me, the only time that I feel like it's, it's okay and necessary to do it all the time is if your job and you're getting paid thousands for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Having, yeah. Having a hobby is good. Yeah. Having fun things to do is great. Totally. This, your girl whoever is not trying to take it away from you but what they're saying is like you can't expect to have a thriving good relationship when all you do is stare at a tv all day playing video games with your bros yeah or you can't expect like oh yeah i know any of that i know dad like there's some dads that we hang out with that we're like yeah i used to fucking watch it all the time but then once you have like birthday parties and stuff on the weekends and soccer and so it just kind of slowly starts to put be put on the back burner as it should be because Mm -hmm. your kids stuff on the weekend and at night or whatever is just going to come first and if that doesn't naturally happen where they just not their hobby or whatever it is naturally dwindles Mm -hmm. the more they either want to hang out with you or kids or whatever then i don't know yeah no i agree it should happen it's a conversation because it's like why Mm -hmm. do you not correct um, I agree. I mean, it was so, for example, too, there's ways to work around it as well. So, when I have my guilty pleasure TV shows, sure. So, you're you like, I both I'm going to go do that. So, you go do your shit. I have them record it because it's not like every, yeah. every Wednesday or every time it comes on, like, you cannot talk to me. Don't get me wrong. There's been a few times with The Bachelor that I would watch it that night or Bachelorette. Sure. And sometimes kinda I have, have them watch the it with me. But yeah. we did a one four, like a two four kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he was like, okay, cool. I'll watch your show if you watch one of my shows. Cool. Perfect. Right? So we, and that was only if we could have like a lounge night together. Yeah. And didn't have work or stuff to do. Um, but for me, like a lot of times, he much rather me hang out, right, than do those. So if he goes to sleep early or if he's out of town, I watch Boom. them then. There you go. It's not like a marathon of all my shows in a row being like, no, I can't talk to you Sorry. right now. I'm in my show. I have to. And all the time. 
And so don't shy. I don't think people should shy away from having rules like that. That's I know what I'm it saying. sounds weird, but like, dude, again, if you're cohabitating with another person with their own hobbies, their own life, their own feelings, whatever, like, there has to be boundaries, boundaries, rules, routines, things set in place, and it's not controlling and it's not whatever. It's just like figuring out how to put two people together. It's how you forever. make a relationship work. What you guys can compromise on. That's what it is. It's two people coming together and compromising on things. Yeah. Right? And don't think that it's controlling or don't think like, don't tell me what to do, whatever. It's like, it's literally just trying to figure out the puzzle piece of putting two people together. Yeah. What's going to work for you and me and how we make it work, but we also hang out with each other and work and have hobbies and have friends and have whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like a lot of moving fucking pieces, I dude. Know. Like... Don't ever think that it's just supposed to fucking flow together. And if it doesn't, then fuck it. Let like, me say this too. Don't settle either. And don't expect you're going to change this person either. If you start no. dating and they play video games all the time, don't think that if you get serious and move in, that it's going to stop. You know what I mean? Just because like you guys are together. Right. So if that's something that's like a deal breaker for you and you're like, this person plays video games like eight hours a day. They never pay attention to me. I'm always coming over there. Like I'm trying to climb all over him. He doesn't even want to have sex with me. You know, I'm laying there in bed naked, like playing with myself, basically. And he's still like, yeah, bro, uh, yeah, 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 go yeah. kill him. Like, that's an issue. Yeah. Don't think it's going to change. So what you have to do is if you stay silent, guess what? He doesn't know. You right. have to sit there and say, hey, this is what I want. And I can compromise. Yeah. Can we like dim it down to four hours or like. Right. If they're not, I'm not cool there, it, then you have a, a fucking issue. That's so, what I mean. And don't expect. And guys be honest usually with are going to push back and think that you're trying to control them or don't tell me what to do. They eventually will get to that point of like, okay, you know, or maybe find your own thing and be like, Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, but then that, I don't know. That's a slippery slope. Anyways, it's hard. That's what I mean. But boundaries, rules, don't shy away from them. Like they're, they're for the good of your relationship, not to try and fucking control someone else. Absolutely. Um, so instead of the broette, Mm -hmm. I think we should kind of, Maybe go through some fun stuff that we got. What do yeah, you think? I'm good with that. Right? Yes. Well, yeah, because these ladies are awesome anyway. So they're listeners. Right? And they hit us up often. We talk to them. We have good conversations. Yes. So we'll start with uh, Lila. Um, so she was one of the ones who we answered yes. like one of her like questions on, like about relationships. So by the way, the yeah, past. she's the one that she was dating this uh, whatever facetiming dating this guy he ghosted her she blocked him and we were like fuck yeah bitch yeah so good she, job um she's been listening to drinking bros for a while and for years but she said this shit with us hits home it just like Love it. helps her with work and it gives her a lot of laughs and i guess she's in food science and technology in the fermentation lab so she's like basically um i'm in the lab to make alcohol taste better girlfriend yeah. love to so hear it basically it can be boring at times and she loves our upbeat attitudes and just listening to us and it helps her get through work in general love so it. anyway she made us poppy seed muffins which by the way i love lemon poppy seed dude like, that's your jam lemon poppy love, it. Seed. love it and she also made us uh brown butter chocolate chip cookies and she kind of like named them like opium <laughs> opium citrus muffin tops and summer tan with a with the dark man cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, it. Funny. But anyway, she asked us before she can send them like, hey, is this weird for you guys? Are you guys going to even eat them? Like, I swear, like, I'm cautious when I make them like we're going to eat them. We don't turn down a cookie. That's so, for sure. I think it's super sweet. We really appreciate it. Thank You're you so fucking awesome. much. Like, this was, that's amazing. And we're going to eat them after this. <laughs> like, <laughs> really quick that we're not. Yeah. Don't think that we're not. Really, really quickly. Um, Next up. Yeah, so we have this. So Jess, Jessica, um, had his up. So she had listened to the quarantine beauty hacks episode and was like, "Oh my god, Um, I need to share this with you guys." I actually work with like this nail company. It's called Color Street. Yeah, and I guess her name on there. um, I guess she works with them, and I guess her name is beautiful badass on there but anyway she's a stylist for them and i guess these are like very popular now so so many women are not getting their nails done in quarantine and these are are like if you guys are watching the show these are basically it says 100 percent real nail polish strips so basically basically like stick them on like stickers and kind of file them off and they're supposed to be 
a maze and stay for a long time yeah so they have tons of different colors we got sent these glitter ones uh they have like neutrals and glitters and different designs and stuff like that oh that's cool they're made in the usa love it But i guess these are really popular right now because they make your nails look fantastic yes without you having to paint them yourself and i'm looking kind of you know messed not up going outside yeah. the lines <laughs> like little, yeah like yeah. i'm terrible at painting my nails Dude, I'm by the horrible. way i'm horrible and i can get maybe everything two nails nice closed so thank you so much for sending us these like i'm really excited to use them she gave us yeah. these i got this like rose gold glitter and this other glitter which i know honestly i probably would never wear that glitter one yeah but why not in the quarantine let's have some fun i guess i could like i can do one like crazy one let's do now. one nail and then do some glitter we'll kind of you know, the only issue with nails is i've always wanted to get something cool with nails and do like glitter like that because yeah. i do like that the issue is i'm in the military still I know. right so it's like I, oh, I don't want to take it off i have to wear a natural yeah, yeah, yeah. color yeah but i think that's really awesome but they'll last and we can keep them and do them for like a fun night if we have something yeah outside the queue so she just gave us the instructions for it. She loves the podcast. You know, she's always writing in. So thank you so much, Jessica. This was like really sweet of you. Love and wish you all the best with your business. It seems to be doing really great. Yeah, we so. love it. Love to hear it. And oh my gosh, <laughs> the last one. The last one is our is our girl. We may talk about next show yeah. a little uh, advice. A little we sitch. gave a little story and a little advice we gave her about someone we know we're yeah. not naming names no but well, we're not. just gonna leave we're gonna leave you with that little nugget for yeah. next show but this bitch i know sent us fucking dude what the fuck from tom that. design shop it's these bracelets um bro that say bracelets. drinking bro ads with it me? like literally with our logo on it so rihanna yeah rihanna we won't give her last name but rihanna rihanna oh, rihanna I don't know how. Yeah, we're not sure how to sorry, say it. Sorry, we don't it. want to Let say it. Know. She's going to be in the RPR group probably today. Yeah. But she gave us these. How fucking cute like, are these? When, you, when, I, when you opened it, I was like, no way. Who's that? No way. This Who's is this? This is a very sweet gift. Uh, I feel like this costs a lot. Um, amazing. This is very, very. This, okay. Girl. You know who we're talking about? Amazing. I'm not, I'm not a gifts person with my love language. Yeah. To me, though, this is like kind of like a little bit of it's acts of service, thoughtful type of thing, like a super, super simple, thoughtful gift. That's like, oh, that oh my gosh, mean? this really means a lot. Like she thought of us. This is really cute. It's very personalized. Like this right here. I love it. Like, I, you know, I already loved her. Yeah. But it makes me like, oh, my gosh. And this is a very the thoughtful, effort, girl gift. thoughtful, like and all this like cookies, like you're sitting there making us shit like you guys. Thank we you. We just fucking love you. And we know like it's. It's hard times out there, and I can't believe that you guys are taking the time out of your, like, quarantine and trying to get your life done to, like, give us stuff something, and send, send us, us fucking cookies. Like, it really like, means absolutely. Out of the goodness of your own heart. Everything to us. So thank just you. Just being nice and showing yeah. us the love, and we appreciate it. Like, we we do this for you guys. We love the best compliment, again, is... Is amazing. I feel like I'm just sitting there with two girlfriends hanging out and talking. Yeah, like, that's the best compliment because that's yeah. what we want. We're doing this for you all. We're doing this for you and for us. Like we we have fun this is doing it mentally. Ugh. like so great. We need it pretty <laughs> we much every it. week when we come in. We're like, girl. I think that's why we start on Mondays because we Mondays for us is like yes. Let's yep. start off the stuck with my husband the week all weekend on a good foot. Yeah, <laughs> I need this in my life, and then so, we can go through the rest of the week kind of getting through our yeah. shit right so thank you yeah so this yeah, you guys are awesome of the the day i guess we're gonna start doing now goes out to lila jessica and rihanna you girls thank you so much yeah. rihanna um thank you so so much for all of this we appreciate it all we the love, love. It. and um we'll see you next week i don't think we're doing a wine bonus this I don't week think we, we might, might yeah, do one either. next week but if you guys do, so Drinking Bruette, send them into Instagram or Facebook DMs. If you guys ever want to get a hold of us, we're on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. By the way, our wine video oh, yeah. What's it up to? is up to 20 mil. What? Dude, I just On that saw random somebody. dude's page. Just, and on our Bruette page, yeah. like our small Bruette yeah. like Facebook page, yeah. it's at like 200 and almost 50,000 views guys already. so we're we're, ha we're happy to represent happy and to represent we will be having the big to energy and lady boner shirts restocked hopefully this week 
I know like my veteran printing company are like working on it right now. And also I had some like black crop tops left over. So oh, I, yeah. so I got big to energy printed on those Oh heck because yeah. they liked big to energy so much I know. that I ha- only had small through larges with that left, like a few left over from yeah. before, but I got that printed. So those can be like go out too. love it. You know what I mean? Love Just it. something. Love Cause everyone it. loved those so much. Yeah. And we'll work on other ones for you guys. So beautiful. Yeah. Just hit us up. Um, and also, if you guys want to show us some love, rain and review us on iTunes. Like, it means the world it to us. It helps. We read them. It does help us it out. Helps and it the gets, advertisers. And then, as, it I It gets mean, more people listening to the podcast, yeah. too. Yeah. And as always, um, you can support us by supporting the... Um, amazing the companies yeah the companies that support us and we always put the links in the show description so if you just want to check them out just uh at least go to their pages um they really keep this going so you know show them some love yeah absolutely all right guys bye bye yeah you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl on moving on yeah don't Better things to do